end of the game, I would need those five people that helped me out to run back out here real quick. Those five guys, one, two, three, four, five. I'm assuming, is there anyone here that's not allowed at the end of the game, is not allowed to throw the ball into the backcourt? You can all throw it in the backcourt. Remember I told you in the NBA we couldn't do it for years. Okay, let's take the ball out of bounds on this side right here. Let me have my three, my three man take it out if I can. Let me have four go all the way down that corner for me. And let two go all the way down this corner here. Let me have five if I could, right up here, my five man. And one down on that low block. Down that low block. Well, I saw Boston, uh, Boston do this in the playoffs. And I thought, you know, Doc really, it was a nice move on Doc's part. The big bodies in the NBA, the athleticism in the NBA, when you've got eight or nine people, eight or nine people trying to play, and this is when you may not have any timeouts left, okay, all you've got to do is get the ball in. That's all you've got to do. And as we all know, it sounds simple, but it's hard sometimes particularly if they're quicker than you are, stronger than you are, faster than you are. You just got to get it in. And if you get it in, they've got to foul you or the clock runs out and the game is over. All Boston had to do was get it in. And they had a problem getting it in because of all the big bodies. Because if you take this guy and you say, to hell with the passer, I'm coming over here. So a lot in the NBA, we see people count. Thousand one, thousand two, turn and find the first guy coming at you. Thousand one, thousand two, they'll have go look to the baseline side, come off the ball. So now you have nine people running around the half court. So what Doc did coming out of the timeout, they couldn't get it in, they took a timeout, they came back out of the timeout. He took four and put four down there. He took uh, two, put two down there. This was his five man who was Garnett at that time in the game. He had Garnett at the five spot. And when the referee handed him the ball, you know, when do you tell your team to go, by the way? Do you tell them to go on the slap of the ball? Or do you tell them to go on the referee hands on the ball? Better make a decision. Got to make a decision because if you wait, if you wait till he hands on the ball and then you wait till the guy slaps the ball, you may have lost the count already out of the five. Now the guys turn and go and you have to operate in four seconds rather than five seconds. So do they start to go when the referee hands on the ball? Is that the key for them to start their cuts? You make that decision on your own, okay, what you like. What they did is they took Garnett, okay, and Garnett has to read, where's my defender? If the defender's on this side, up on this side, playing Garnett, he has to roll to this shoulder. Go back again. If he rolls the other way into me, come on, I'm holding him up. I'm holding him up so he can't get down there. We only got four or five seconds to get this thing over with. So you tell your big man, roll away from the defense, depending on which side he's on. He rolls and he's going down, slow motion to headhunt Rondo's man. Rondo's man is down in here, so stop right there. Rondo's man is in here, Rondo's reading him. Rondo slices over the top, hard. actually it's a little bit higher if you could, come right about there. Okay, Rondo's cut is, depending on how his guy's playing him, if the guy tries to shoot the gap and go through, fade out there quick, Rondo. Come on, get up there. Throw the ball inbounds, we got it, because he tried to shoot the gap and go through. Come back again. If he stays with him, okay, as Rondo comes off this thing, you run a hook cut over the top, down to the corner. Look for it. So you're leading him down there. Next, come on back, Rondo. As he comes over the top, the big man that set the screen, as soon as he comes over the top, you flash right back to the ball, because all we need is this man, hold it for a second. Come on, Rondo, hook hard, hook hard. Just a step a little, flash, big man, too late. Okay, as soon as you feel your man release, you flash and you're a big target for him to throw to up top. Game's over. All we needed to do was get it in bounds. Think about it, I thought it was a very nice move on Doc's part. Now you understand, if they take these people back here, they can't take the two guy and play him up here somewhere. To throw the ball back to him, game's over. So they've got to respect these people as to where they play him on the pass. And you might have to run to the ball if your guy was all the way back somewhere to make yourself available. Depends on where it is. We can always throw in the backcourt. All we need to do is get it in and we win the game. They'll foul us, we make our free throws, or the clock runs out and you go from there.